Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below. Hi kids, it's Pimmy again. And today, when I'm coloring, I think I'm gonna color something from my Avengers cards. Right there. Today, I wanna do heroes. What are you gonna color? Are you gonna use colored pencils, crayons, chalk, markers? It's all up to you, as well as what you want to color. But remember, you've got to have paper, because we always color on paper. So let's get started. Today, it looks like we got Captain America, and there's the Avengers A right there in the side. I think I'm going to start by coloring in the Avengers A today. I'm going to use my colored pencils because those are my favorite. But you can definitely use whatever you want in your color and your colors. Markers and crayons chalk there are so many choices I'm just gonna try to stay inside my lines because I don't want to do those small lines on the outside just the big area in the middle I'm just going to be careful and try to stay in my lines. But if we go outside of them, it's okay. It's just practice. So we'll be alright. I think on his pants, I'm going to do the line in the middle red. And then on his shirt, we'll do the line right here red. But I'm trying to stay in my lines as much as I can. We'll make his zipper red too. And the star on his chest red. With its one, two, three, four, five points on the star. And I'm gonna make this A on his head red for America, because he's Captain America. But this one's an A for the Avengers, because he's also one of the Avengers. And we'll just color a couple parts of his boots red this time, too. But you can color in with your drawing with any colors you want. And you don't even have to use red. You could use completely different colors if you want to. It's all up to you how you color in your drawings. And since this star is red, I'm gonna make this one red on his shield. And then this one will be a different color, and this ring will be red, and that one will be a different color, and this one will be red. So now, I know which ones are red, and I can color them in.
just like this. And then this one. But trying to stay inside my lines and being so careful. Just like that. Then I think I'm gonna make these little wings on his hat red. And some of the shapes in the background red. This one is a rectangle. It has one, two, three, four sides, but two of them are longer than the other two. If they were the same length, it would be a square. I don't want to make the ones red that meet with the shield, only the ones that don't, because where the shield is at on the outside is already red, so I want to use other colors to put a space there. So I'm just trying to be careful about which colors I put where. And this one is another rectangle. And see how this rectangle is longer than the other ones? That's just because there's not any set length on how long your rectangles have to be. They can be as big or as small as you make them. And that is our one red color. R E D. Red. For our first one. Now, let's use this blue color and go around the outside of this A that's for the Avengers. Just like this. But I don't want to make the rest of the A red because if we mix red and blue, it'll turn it purple. And I don't want the Avengers A to be purple. So I need to stay inside my lines. There we go. All done with those. Now let's do the ones that go around the circle on the outside of the A. Are you using blue today? Or are you going to use different colors instead? Because you get to choose the colors that you color with each time. You can make all your heroes look however you want or you could even choose to color in something else and not heroes at all. Now I'm going to color in the rest of our costume on Captain America. 
just like this. With this dark shade of blue. And I'm just going to be very gentle with it. Because if you're not gentle, you'll break the coloring that you use. Whether it's a pencil, or a marker, or chalk, or crayons, you can break all of them if you're not gentle. So it's very important that we're gentle with what we color with so that we don't make them break. Because if they break, we can't use them to color anymore. And that would be no fun. Now let's color in his chest. But not that A. That's silly. That's not an A on his chest, is it? Or were you paying attention? That's a star on his chest. The A is on his helmet, on his head. Right now though, we're just coloring in his body. Now we'll do the parts beneath the red line like that, where his tummy is. And now I'm going to color in his hat. And I'm going to try not to make those wings on the side purple by mixing my blue and red together because I want them to be red and not purple. That means I have to be careful and stay in my lines. Now we need to choose. Should we make his gloves blue too? I think so. So we're going to color in his gloves. Just like before, I'm going to be gentle. I'm just going to go over the color a few times so that it looks a little bit darker on his glove. Now we'll do this part of his arm just like that. Now I'm going to do some more of these rectangles and other shapes that are in the background over here. That way we can use some colors that go next to his shield. But I don't want to use the ones next to him because that might be confusing. If we start having the same blue that's on Captain America in the background but touching him then it might make us a little confused when we look at it later which is the same reason we didn't want the red to be next to the shield now we'll color in the shield though around in all the spots we skipped earlier when we used our red colored pencil. Just trying to stay in my lines so I don't make my shield purple. Because that's not the color that I want to use on my Captain America this time, so I have to be careful. Now I want another blue. I think I'm going to use this one. And this one is going to color in this space all in the back 
behind the A for the Avengers. We could use lots of colors and just color in each line if we want to, but I don't want to do that today. But maybe if you're coloring the same thing, that's how you want to do it. But not me, because this one is my coloring and I just had it a little different from doing it that way in my head. So I'm going to do it like that. And that is part of what makes coloring fun, is that you can color in your drawings that could be the same ones that I'm coloring, but you could make yours totally different colors. Because you used your imagination and came up with a different picture than I did. And that is what makes being creative fun. Now I think we'll do this space in this corner. And this is a triangle where there's three sides. One, two, three. Just like that. And then let's color in this triangle over here that gets interrupted with that circle around the A to stop it from being straight lines. And I think we'll get this little spot and that looks good to me so we used one light blue plus one dark blue equals one two two so we have two blue colors B L U E blue now I'm gonna choose one of my green colors I'm not sure which one I want yet so I'm just gonna think about it for just a moment Maybe this one looks good. Let's try this one today. These will be for the irises in Captain America's eyes. And the iris is the part of your eye that has colors. Sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's green sometimes it's blue and some people have hazel eyes and hazel eyes are a mixture of colors like my eyes are brown and green because they're hazel some people's hazel eyes are brown and blue what color eyes do you have? Look at that green color. Is that a pretty green? I think it's a pretty green. I like it. And I'm just going to color in some of these spaces in the background that I haven't colored in yet, but not all of them, because I don't want to put my green next to my green. 
I want to use other colors too. So I'm just trying to separate colors when I'm coloring in my background today. And that is one green color. G R E E N. Green. So we have our two blue colors plus our one red color makes one, two, three. Three colors now. And then we can take our three and put it here. And then we have to add in our one green color which is gonna be one two three four four colors now that we're done with our green now I'm gonna use a brown color I think I want to try out this brown color I don't think I've used it yet we're gonna color in all his pouches because they're like pockets and his belt brown but not his belt buckle because his belt buckle is gonna be made out of metal and since that's made out of metal what color should we make it we could make it silver or we could make it gold or we could make it bronze or lots of other shiny metal colors what shape is that one that I colored brown that's one two three sides do you remember what shape has three sides to it right here that's a triangle because try means three and angle is this part where your lines meet up and you get these corners those corners are angles so it's got three angles a triangle now I'm just gonna use this brown to finish off the rest of my background the rest of the colors are there already and then we just have to finish in his belt buckle and we're all done just staying in our lines and being very careful so we can get all the practice we can today and make sure that we get better as we keep coloring in the future one brown color B R O W N and with our green we can take our four down here and then we add one for our brown color and that is gonna be one two three four five five colors so far so let's use this silver one because it's so shiny and we'll put that on this belt buckle just like that and that's all we need it for so that's one silver s i l v e 
are silver. So we have five colors when we finished with our brown one, plus our one silver color equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Six colors. Now, all that's left is Captain America's face. And I'm gonna make his face skin the same as my face skin. I'm a pretty pale person, so I'm gonna use this peach color very gently and color in his face. Maybe your skin is darker, so you make him a darker color, or maybe you make him the same color when you color him in. You can color him however you want, because that's your color. That's one peach color. P E A C H. Peach. So with our silver, we had six colors. Now we have to add in our one peach color. And that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven colors. And we're all done now at the end. So we're going to have our seven colors. C O L O R S. And then we're all done with our Captain America. I hope you had as much fun coloring in our Captain America today as I did. Went over some shapes, triangles, why they're called triangles, some mixing colors and how those work out, and how to use different colors next to each other to stop the pictures from being confusing. Now, you can color anything you want when we're coloring. You don't have to color the same things as me at all. You can color in anything in the world, as long as it's on paper. So until next time, keep practicing staying in those lines and have fun. Bye bye. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below.